Tonight, two teenagers remain hospitalized after they were shot following a high school football game on the south side. It happened in the Woodlawn neighborhood late last night. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos is outside Comer Children's Hospital where the victims are being treated and has new video of the chaos that occurred after bullets started flying. Indeed, a chaotic situation that left a 15 year old boy and 16 year old girl injured. Now we have learned that that 15 year old boy remains in critical condition here at Comer. Now new video obtained by CBS 2 gives us a glimpse on the mayhem as well as the urgency to help those injured. From students to security guards, a crowd scrambles outside Mount Carmel High School to tend to a teenager struck by a bullet. This is on the intersection of 64th and Blackstone just after 10 p.m. Friday. The urgency to help the teen is clear. Where the bullets came from, still a mystery. That victim, identified as a 15-year-old, is still in the hospital, listed in critical condition. Another teen, a 16-year-old girl, was shot in the foot. She's listed in good condition. We heard live rounds, and it was about 12, 1,500 students and kids at the football game. Witnesses tell CBS 2 bullets started flying about 35 minutes after the game between the caravan and Morgan Park High School ended. The crowds were making their way off school property when gunfire went off at a nearby parking lot. A whole bunch of students, they just started running back towards the uh, you know, a championship road, which is right over here. Michael Smith, a security guard that was on duty at the time of the game, says he believes the shooting was not related to the football game. Anytime that there's shootings, anytime there's a lot of violent crimes, it's trauma. So, you know, it's trying to get people back to center because, you know, they're thrown off base with the, you know, the trauma from gun violence and all of this other stuff. With no suspects in custody, investigators are now combing through surveillance footage from school property for any leads. Anyone with information, you are urged to contact police. Reporting from outside Comer Children's Hospital, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News. And we received a statement from Mount Carmel tonight that says, in part, we pray for the full recovery of the two young visitors, not Mount Carmel students, to our campus who were injured last night. And tomorrow we continue our efforts to make Chicago a better place to live and grow up as a young man.